Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman here from ProMMANow.com with Gilbert Melendez, the day before UFC on Fox. How's it going, sir? Doing very good, man. How about you? Good. What's been going on with you? Did you just get back from a vacation? Uh, I was in Mexico City, but uh, not on a vacation. We uh, do little seminars, and I opened a scrap pack Mexico City out there. So, uh, you know, we got You're a gym out there. Out. Yeah, that's, that's right, man. I think uh, Mexico's uh, really starting to love MMA out there, and um, you know, and I think uh, we should push it out there a little bit more. So that's what I was doing out there. But uh, you know, vacation, whatever you want to call it, is over, and uh, time to train for a fight. September 29th, Pat Healy. Yeah, good. What do you think about Pat Healy as an opponent? I think he's a very durable guy. And he's a he's a journeyman. He's, he's a veteran that's been around. And he's been on a streak for a while. It's definitely not an easy task. And uh, you know, and most guys who fight me, they bring the best. You know, because it's their chance to get the title. He's a hard nosed guy. He is tough. He's durable. Good wrestler. Um, you know, I, I would think that he might be able to push you a little bit in the first couple of rounds. I like Pat Healy personally, but um, you know, five rounds that's a, that's a different story. I don't. Do you think he has a cardio to go five rounds? Uh, like at your kind of Gilbert Melendez tornado pace? You know what? I hope not, man. But the guy's a grinder. You know, he has a lot of heart. And you, you never know. And, uh, and you know, and for his first five rounder, you know, he'll. I'm sure he'll be ready for it. Uh, I'm hoping my skills will be able to, to, to win him, though. You know what I mean? Just landing good punches, moving really well, making him miss, getting him frustrated. I think that can cause the, the gas tank to drain uh, sooner than, than usual, than expected. So uh, so hopefully my skills take, take place in this fight as well as my cardio. Okay. Now, who do you get to train with, like, on a regular basis when a fight's coming up, coming up. Aren't you guys a lot, like an hour away from, as far as like the Diaz brothers yeah. and Jake Shields, do you guys like come together and are you guys, oh, I'll, I'll drive here these couple days, I'll you drive over there those couple days and get at least four good days of sparring in? Right, it's, it's not really structured or anything, but uh, they have the Caesar Gracie gym out in um, in Pleasant Hill Concord, and uh, and then we have the Gracie fighter in Lodi, and I got my um, gym on the Indian Training Center in San Francisco, on the Indian Training Center. And uh, we managed to train with each other quite a bit. You know, we all, we all have deep little little teams you know I got a little my scrap pack in San Francisco uh, and they got a couple guys out there in their in their hoods but we meet up you know at Caesar Gracie's like once a week sometimes I was in Lodi last Saturday training with Nate and then sometimes they come out here so nothing structured no real blueprint but we, we get out to help each other out especially during fight time right on good and um, what, what do you think about your last fight Josh Thompson that was quite a war man you it, know I was there live yeah, it was definitely a tough fight. You know, it wasn't my best performance ever. I, I, I'm not mad about anything. Like, I just, uh, you know, you're just not happy when things don't go the way you want them to go. I, I'm proud. I think I won the fight, and uh, it was a tough fight. T John's a tough guy. I have nothing against him. Again, I'm just, I wasn't super happy with my performance, and I, I'm looking forward to, to putting it down um, to putting it down this week, you know, I mean, this next fight to, to make a statement, you know? Is there anything that you think reason why you think your performance will be better in the upcoming fight. I mean, I don't know right. if you want to disclose yeah, anything no, that was holding you back. Yeah, definitely. Time. Or you just start flat sometimes. You don't always perform to the best every single given day. Right. I think it goes to training camps. Well, I had a roller coaster ride. For a minute, you think you're going to the UFC. Uh, you think you're fighting a, a top, top two, top three contender. And uh, next thing, you're not, you know what I mean? And in fact, you're fighting a tough guy who's coming off of, uh, you know, not the best win and, and a loss to a guy that you just smashed in a round. So it didn't really make sense at the time. And uh, and uh, that got sold on me, like, you know, about eight weeks out, you know, of my fight. And, uh, and you know, and you know that plays on the motivation part. But uh, but now that's over with, I'm accepted it, you know what I mean? And I, I'm ready to move on and, uh, and, and fight Bam Bam. And if, and if Josh Thompson earns his way back up again, I'll gladly fight okay. him again. And he, he leaves a legit opponent. He's been there. But, you know, who knows what about the future? I mean, we got Frank Mir coming in to uh, fight DC now, mm -hmm. Daniel Cormier. What do you think about that, that the UFC is now sending someone over? And would you like to see them maybe in the future do that to you? If you guys, because of this, the strike force contracts and stuff, we know this is business. It's not that you don't want to scrap with all the guys in the right, UFC. Right, right. This is business. It's legal contracts. That's what's going on. Right. So maybe if they can't send you over, which, like, I know you had hoped, if, if they can't send you over, would you like it if they send someone over to you like they just send Murray over to Cormier? Yeah, I have no problem with like Showtime and, and Strikeforce. I love it. You know, I'm just hoping they can send that talent over, and that's what I was always initially hoping. You know, I never had a problem with staying in Strikeforce or Showtime. Just the talent to bring in. You just in. want to fight the top guys. Yeah, I would like them to bring some good talent to help me you know, prove I'm number one out there. Uh, with this whole Mir and Cormier thing, yeah, it's a positive look. I don't know. Uh, I'm not getting too excited about nothing. Um, you know, I, I've been going through this stuff a lot. All these questions have been asked, these UC questions for the last couple fights three fights now you know and and i'm over it you know what i mean i'm over it i'm a strike force i'm a strike force fighter the number one fighter in the world and my lightweight Absolutely, division yeah. is in strike force you know people need to get used to it and uh and hopefully they can uh, send me some other talent but uh, right now just bam bam's on my mind and uh but that, that's a positive thing though do you want to do you want to talk at all about you know nick diaz having the most expensive joint in the world getting 
kind of screwed this last year? Uh, you know, a year suspension. You know what? Your I, thoughts on that? Yeah, you know, my thoughts are Nick's a great guy and he's a tough guy. And uh, you know, sometimes the cars don't, you know, go his way. You know, because he, he runs. You know, people don't like that he goes by his own rules. You know, but I think people admire it. You know, they sometimes they don't like it, but they, but people really admire it, and, and so do I. You know, and uh, Nick's Nick's his own man. He is who he is, and uh, he's my teammate. And I support him. You know, 100 percent, and uh, and he's family. So, uh, but I, I think things will start going his way when things start going again. Yeah, and Nate's on a roll, and Nate's probably waiting around for a really big fight, I, I think. And yeah, I think Nate's next in line, you know, and right now he's been sparring with Andre Ward, helping Andre Ward get ready for Chad Dawson. Can you believe that? You know, so he's a good sparring partner as a southpaw, and, uh, you know, I think uh, Nate's, Nate, Nate's amazing, man. He's coming to his own, and, uh, you know, and I think he's going to win the UFC title, and I'll have the strike force title, and then we'll be, we'll be running shop. All right, last couple questions. I'm assuming you're here to watch the fights tomorrow night. Uh, who are your picks in the in the two you know main events in the light heavyweight fights between Machida and Bader? Right. And uh, you know Shogun and uh, Brandon Vera. I mean, I guess I'll start with the main event. I mean, I, I like I think Vera's going to perform a lot better than we've seen. You know, I think he's a really good fighter, and I think Shogun's going to bring it out of him because Shogun has great fighting style. Um, though Shogun's in the fight round before, and he's such a veteran, I, I think he has the edge. You know, but I you know I like Shogun. I like them both. I might be pulling for Vera a little more, but I still think Shogun is going to win. But it's going to be a good fight. I think it will be entertained. Uh, as for Bader and uh, Bader and Machida, Machida weighed in late. He was two one. Right. And Bader told me yesterday he's going to be two twenty, which I assume means actually two twenty one right. by fight time. That's a big difference. I, I don't know. I think so, man. Size does play a difference, but you know, so does skill. And I think it's like, hey, is someone going to be able to stick and move and keep it on the feet, Machida, or is someone going to be able to close the gap and put someone on their back and ground and pound them and, and win the victory? So I think it's going to be a close fight. You know, someone's going to win one round, someone's going to win two rounds. I think it's going to be kind of like that. And uh, but um, I think Bader at plus. 250, you know, Bader at plus 250, uh, 260, I mean, not, not be a bad bet, you know you're what I mean? Man, you're going to uh, win some you know, money? I don't know, bro, I'm, I try to bet here and there, you know, I try to make educated, uh, educated oh, decisions, you, you know what I mean? No, nice. no gambling, educated decisions, you know? All right, all right. Um, that's at UFC on Fox Saturday Live, guys. Anything you want to plug, Twitter, you, uh, your yeah, website? Yeah, definitely, at Gilbert Melendez, uh, follow me on Twitter, you know, get my updates, uh, as well as ElNinoMMA.com, uh, that's my gym, check it out, what we're all about, GilbertMelendez.com coming out soon, uh, thanks, tap out, my boys out here 1-800 radiators uh kinder's barbecue and um yeah that's it bro Santa Ana all day san francisco all day california what about if the wolfman makes a trip up there sometime and i spar with you guys hey wolfman are you you're cool with that? yeah we are cool with that man just bring the all cameras right. all right guys uh go to promo main now for all your information subscribe to my youtube youtube page at dan the wolfman one and follow me on twitter thanks